Congratulations, Radson. Um, ang haba na ng journey since Starshock. Parang ikaw lang ang Starshock batch mo na nandito sa batch na to ngayon. Oo nga, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kamusta yung buong, yung journey na yun as a kapuso since 2019 and now you're still here? Um, before I used to say na it's, it, it's too short. Pero right now it feels like a long journey. So I'm very grateful and thankful that I'm still here. I'm still working, and I still have like a lot of room to improve, a lot of room to um, to show people my talent, like uh, what my heart is full of. So I. <laughs> Nakakatawa kasi yun nga, after it, syempre medyo matagal din yung inantay mo pero ever since naman you've been locked in na sa Voltes 5, di ba? Pero ang tagal yung meron, ang tagal na naging waiting pero ngayon sunod-sunod kasi after Voltes may kasunod ng show, yeah. di ba? So, kamas na lang yung pag-aalaga din of course ng Sparkle sa'yo? Uh -huh. um, the Sparkle management kasi, they're very hands-on with their talents. They ask what, they, what the talents want and they input what they think the talent needs. So it's a hand-in-hand -hand agreement with the management and the talents. So I think it's a very healthy way to, you know, build a relationship with their artists. So mm -hmm. it's very good. Ratson, did you expect na you will last this long also in the industry? I mean, it's relatively short. Pero kasi, ang plano mo naman talaga, tama ba, lawyer, right? Yeah. <laughs> de ba? Yeah. Noon pinakilala ka sa Starshock, yun talaga yung pagka-introduce sa'yo, the smart one, one yung lawyer, ganyan. So, even yung parents mo, yun yung mas leaning towards sila, uh, di ba? Bago, bago na papayag na mag-showbiz ka. So, looking back on that, kamusta na ngayon you're reaping success in your career? Oh, uh, looking back, um, when I said na uh, I really wanted to be a, a lawyer, I really wanted to be a lawyer. Pero, I was kind of half-hearted because I always wanted to be an actor as well. Like someone who's like performing in the fine arts category in life. So, I'm still torn apart until now. Which ah. one I want. But, uh, right now, this is what I want. This is what I'm enjoying. And I feel like I want to do more. I want to do so much more in this industry. I don't think there's... Uh, room right now for me to enter lawyery so that can actually wait because there are some people who enter law school you know 40 years old like yeah. 50 years old and they still become a lawyer uh -oh. so ayan dito kasi sa industry uh, you're like a ticking time bomb so there's just I mean realistically meron lang tayong peak and uh, well, actually it depends on you your longevity then pero I'd say this this is something that you don't get that uh, of an opportunity in a lifetime. And I love it, so bonus na rin yan. Of course, going to your next project. And kasi kanina iba na yung title dun sa parang resume na pinakita. But is it still Princesa ng CP Jail? Yes. Princesa okay. ng kasi dun Munti. Princesa ng Munti. Yes, they changed it na. Princesa ng City Jail. Yun na talaga? Yes. Okay. So, anything that you can share? Something that we should look forward to? Uh, so, I'm going to play Justin Lozano in this uh, uh, series. And this is my first time to play as an antagonist. Kasi Mark Gordon, he wasn't really an antagonist. He's just, you know, an ass. Yeah. Uh -oh. I can't say it. <laughs> Why did uh, He's uh -oh. just an asshole. He's more of like an anti-hero. Pero he's not really bad. Pero dito sa Princess and the City Jail, this is my first time to play an, as an antagonist, and it's very exciting. Because I could get to you know experiment with Minecraft. I could get to play around, and there are a lot of uh, veteran actors and like very good acting coaches around me and directors that I could grow more as an actor. So, mm -hmm. hopefully I could, you know, quench the thirst of the viewers na quenching for that contrabida or something something new na not your typical contrabida. Yeah. Kasi usually sa afternoon, babae talaga ang yeah. yung very loud, di ba? Na kailangan excited. So, we wonder then paano mo gagawin yung ganun na ikaw yung contrabida, tapos kita naman natin very soft spoken ka, di ba? Eh, sa afternoon, kailangan maingay. So, 
I already have a plan in my mind on how I, I want to, you know, like how I want to build the character and like I'm trying to um, know what the character wants and what he needs in uh, in this series. So, yun, I have a game plan na, pero I, I can't reveal it. Yun, uh, so. The first taping day ka na ba? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sino excited mo? Um, first taping day, it was Alan and ah, it's Alan, Sophia. Yeah, it's basically Alan and Sophia. Mm -hmm. Kasi I'm friends. I'm like Alan's best friend here. Sorry, I forgot uh -huh. his character name. Okay, lang. You just got that. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, best friend ako ni Alan. Pero ano ba yun? Triangle ka? Kasi di ba may Will Ashley din. So, oh, yes, yes. parang ang daming ganap. The triangle is si Will, si Sophia, and then si Alan. Uh -huh. And then, ako, I'm just, you know, yung kala like, masamang dude lang. Like. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, malaki din siya talaga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wala pang excited with Denise, Beauty. Oh, not yet, not yet. Uh -huh. Oy, pero exciting yun, ha? Yeah, I'm very exciting, very exciting. I mean, I hope I get to work with, you know, uh, Beauty Gonzalez and Denise. Kasi, I don't know. I just feel like I could learn so much more from them. Kasi parang they have this persona of they could be like very matagay person. Uh, si Denise magaling na kontra yeah. vida. So, si even Beauty sa Stolen Life, di ba? So, yes. Yes. Merong ano. Congratulations, Radson. Picture you.